Thanks, Torush. Appreciate it, man. I really hope this is Sea Hill. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is what I want to show you guys now. How to counter this. Okay. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another deck guide. For today, I've put together a monsters list. Now, this monsters list has taken me to pro rank just now um, after I had my stream and I've come on to record this deck guide. And also in addition to that, it's an extremely effective counter to sea hill decks as well. As you guys know, I just released um, a counter deck to sea hill list recently maybe some of you don't like to play that style of deck so i've come around to monsters and put this list together and for you monster players or people who like to play monsters this is a great way to combat that seahill deck and what i'm going to do is run you through this list and explain how best to play each card and when to play it during a match so to begin with it's a death wish deck overwhelming hunger leader we get to destroy an ally unit, then spawn an Ekimara in its row and boost it by the destroy unit's power. Ekimara is this token unit that you see here. We've got two charges. Quite simply, we're looking to use both charges on Detlef Higher Vampire in a short round three at the end of a match just to secure a victory. That's the easiest way you can use leader at that time, okay? Um, the strategy we're using is Urn of Shadows. So... This allows us to trigger the death wish of an allied unit. We're basically looking to use Stratagem onto Brewer's Ritual. That will then summon two random bronze death wish units from our deck to the row that Brewer's is played on. So it gives our deck extra consistency. Um, when we go first, we get to get even more consistency because obviously you can play Stratagem onto Brewer's and then consume it, right? But outside of that, the deck has good consistency as it is. So to begin with, we've got these bronze units down here. We've got Wild Hunt Hound. It's got the dominance tag. At the end of your turn, boost off by one as long as we've got the highest unit on the battlefield. We've got two of these. They're a great proactive way to play into round one. First thing, if you want to use this to open up the round. Now, with all of our bronze Deathwish units, I'd suggest you leave them in your deck and let Brewers thin them out to the board. We've got Andrega eggs here, spawn three drones in this row. Drones are these token units that you see here. If you use Andrega warrior on this, you get an extra drone. These are the Andrega warriors, some consume units to have in our list because we're playing Deathwish. We need a way to activate the Deathwish units. So, Andrega Warrior is nice because at 4 provision cost, it can activate 2 Deathwish units as long as you play it in between both units that you've stacked together. So, you get a bit of good bonus value that way in the activation. Take one Andrega Warrior with you into round 1, and the other you can save for later. We're playing a few engines, and she who knows. So, Pella's nice to have. In addition to that, you can purify your opponent's resilience units, take away that value from them. Double Bridge Troll. We are playing Kairin. In playing Kairin, it's an immunity unit. So the idea is that Bruce Ritual thins out Bridge Trolls to the board. You play Kairin, Bridge Trolls will boost up into Kairin. So Kairin becomes the highest unit, but it's immunity, so it can't be targeted manually, okay? Boost the highest ally unit by 4 on Death Wish. Keep these in your deck, let Brewers send them out. Double Foglets, same thing. Try to keep your Death Wish bronze units in your list. And spawn Fog on the opposite row for 3 turns on Death Wish. That's how this works. Keep in mind Brewers may thin this out, so wait till your opponent plays a card, then play Brewers on the opposite row of that so you can get that Foglet value still. Then we've got spores here, it's just a bit of control. Reset the power of a boosted unit. It'll just return it to its base power, whatever that is. 
Giant Toad's nice. Consume an allied unit on deploy. When it's in your graveyard, the subsequent round, the first time you play Death Wish unit, it jumps back out, consumes the Death Wish unit. Easy activation. When our opponent is going first, you're going to need to use our leader charge on Brew S to activate it when we're opening up the round. So we're going to be one leader charge short for Detlef Hive Vampire. So if you can set Giant Toad up in round two, so when you play Detlef into round three, it can consume it. And then you, you use your final leader charge, you get that activation quick. That's kind of the idea about Giant Toad. It would be like a round two or three. Yeah, basically, you want to have it consuming round two, I'd say. That's the best way to play it. Then we've got Witch Apprentice here. At the end of your turn, boosts off by two on Sabbath. So, 25 points or more on a row. Play Witch Apprentice down. Two point per turn, boosting engine. Great to play into round one to put some pressure onto the opponent. Also great to play with Haunt in round two. Old Spear Tip Asleep. So this card, after three um, ticks of the timer, it will thin this card out from your deck to the same row that it's on. Six points of power comes into this. It becomes 18 base power, okay? So this is a thinning tool and also sets up Osril for later. So obviously you don't ever play this unless this is in your deck. You wanna play this out round one or two the latest. Imperial Manticore, sub control, death wish style, destroy the lowest enemy. Um, pretty good in some cases. If you're versing a deck that has a lot of tokens, can be a bit underwhelming. So with Manticore, usually we want to play this when opening up Haunt into round two. Osral, we're looking to play on the range draw. It's just going to consume the 18 power spear tip at the end of a match. Osral is like a short round three card. Kairin Immunity. Now, this is in particular a great specific counter to Sea Hill Patrocidal Fury lists. They spawn three Deafening Sirens on your side. The first thing I want you to do is search for Kairin or just play it directly from your hand. Consume the Sirens, okay? It completely mitigates the sea hill death blow value consume three allied units use it in that instance outside of that of course if you're just having a regular match this works great around one because brew s is summoning a lot of death wish units so karen gives you a quick activation Varuna allows you to seize a random enemy unit with four or less power i'm it well for the most benefit possible use this when you're playing haunt around two Royal Decree is to search for a card of your choice from your deck. It's got to be a unit though, right? Usually you want to go for She Who Knows, um, maybe Detlef Hire Vampire, or Kairin, something important like that. Brew S Ritual as well. Detlef Hire Vampire, it's got two charges on him where you can consume him and he comes back to the board. That's how we get points with Detlef Hire Vampire. It's a very nice, clean, and easy point swing simply to save both leader charges. For Detlef High Vampire, it's either going to be used in a short round three to secure the victory or on a bleed if you want into round two. But usually a round three is best, in my opinion. Brewer's Ritual, we've covered it. It's just summoning two random bronze Deathwish units from your deck to the same row as her. Opening card into a match. Just beware what Deathwish units you're summoning because we've got Foglet in our deck and your opponent can play around that. So just wait till your opponent plays a unit on a specific row, then play Brewers opposite it. We've covered this. This is just going to get thinned out from the sleeping spear tip. So always leave this in your deck. She Who Knows is just fantastic. I usually add it in all of my monster decks. Um, one of these kinds of monster decks where we've got a lot of points. So if we've got Sabbath, 25 or more points, we on a row we can play her and she gets resilience she who knows can carry over resilience for the entire match if you play her around one as long as you got sabbath every uh round okay so great round one card if you can establish that 
And then we've got Haunt. Haunt in this list is used to push into round two, get your opponent's best cards out of them, find the right time to pass, if not even 2-0 them, which is what we can do with this list, certainly. So you need two Death Wish units to activate it. Your Death Wish units are going to be Manticore, Maruna, and then you're just getting these units um, spawned and played out that you see here, okay? Now that I've run you through the list, I'm going to explain how to execute the strategy for this deck most optimally. Round one, when you're going first, you'd want to open up with Briss Ritual, thinning out all your bronze death wish units. Um, from there, you can play Karen, consume them. Um, in addition to that, you can play Old Spear Tip asleep. And you've got your engines to consider. You've got Witch Apprentices, Wild Hunt Hounds. Usually that's enough to get you round control in addition to She Who Knows, right? Into round two, Bleed with Haunt. Play Maruna, play Manticore, your other Death Wish units. Play Giant Toad at that time and Dragon Warrior. Um, look for a time to pass, okay, or 2 0 if it's there. And then what you're going to do is obviously play out your remaining cards. You're going to go Leader Ability onto Detlef Higher Vampire. You play out Osril, consuming the Spear Tip that's been increased to high base power, and you play your remaining cards out. So, once again, this list got me to Pro Rank. This list is very effective against Sea Hill decks, Patrocidal Fury ones in particular. Please share your feedback down below. Thanks for your support. Actually, counter Sea Hill really well. Just use Kairin. Yes! Yes! Okay. This is what I want to show you guys. Alright. Let this be Sea Hill. Thanks, Sorosh. Appreciate it, man. I really hope this is Sea Hill. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is what I want to show you guys now. How to counter this. Manticorn Maroon are not so good here because of this. So this makes it harder for them to get the death blow with Sea Hill now. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Fantastic. Good. So far, so good. Maybe I should have put Maroon up far right of uh, Spear Tip. They're going to try to death blow that. Yeah, they're going to try to do it.
Lost spirit devoid of name. Depart now, our favor pain. Now could be a good time for Chiunos. I think so. See, they haven't been able to use it. They have not been able to play Sea Hill this round. The quill is mightier than the sword. He's doing the crazy rain thing. I'm not giving up round control. All right, we'll just go for two O. Just give me horn, and we'll do it. Yes, yes. So I could get a haunt for a short round. Haunt in this. Compass now? Is that bad for them? That's good. How much control have they used? Double stunning blow. I might leave. Should I leave that floating? Armor up. Uh, maybe. Ah, right. Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um... I think I'll pass now. Yep. Now I'll pass. Man, it builds quick. We're up a lot of points though here. So you kill that. Yeah. Okay, I think that's the pass point. Thank you for the follow, I really appreciate it. How 
Wonderful. You speak our tongue. Much is out of with Osro. I think it's a good call. Yes, yes, I'm gonna do that. So we get the card advantage? Or what happens here? Yeah, this was a great um a great counter we did. Ah and there you have it my friends. I am here to protect you guys from these broken decks. I'm here for the Gwent community, right? That's what I'm here for. Just like that. We found the answer to Sea Hill with monsters. Okay, let's have a look here. So they're going first. We pretty much want, want our bronze units in deck, the Death Wish units, for Brewers to thin out. So, yep, we'll see how we go. She who knows is good. Do Blade, what's up, my friend? Lovely to see you. Appreciate your support, man. And it's a vampire's death wish. Might just get that out of there. Okay. Well, it's pretty aggressive if I lead to this. They could have a lock. Maybe we're just going for it. Chilling at home? Nice, nice. Climb to rank 2, congrats, well done. What deck did you play, my friend? Yes. Right? I'm gonna try to push to win round one. Yes. Good. Nice. So they've got Sunset Wanderers. I have played a bit aggressive here, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely have. Well, if they're playing that, they're likely to try to push still. I might be throwing She Who Knows late. Oh wow. Yep, yep, yep. Well done. Nice. Um I think she who knows is really great now. Good, they got leader out, that's great. So I'm in a pretty good spot to bleed next round. I've got Detlaf and Haunt in hand. Yes, yep. Fantastic. Now we just go for it, really. Okay. I need another Death Wish unit. Hmm. So 
So maybe... I'm just bleeding here. I'm not really going for the 2-0, I don't think. One all games in a row with Golden Necker Shield Wall. Wow, well done, man. Pretty solid. Fantastic. Very happy for you, my friend. Okay. I do not miss words. Um. You know what? We just take card advantage. And they get rid of Sunset Wanderers as well, which is great. It's pretty solid. Your deepest, darkest dreams yes, good, good, good. I may keep spores. Um, it's, could they have haunt? Karen's great. I'm gonna look for Maruna. Uh, I should keep this because I need a death wish unit. Okay, let's see. Right? I don't really need to roast stack. Strig is pretty good. Well done. Come on, baby. Gotta bring it home. Gotta. Yep. Give me a boosted unit for spores. Come on. Yep. So, I could use Osril on She Who Knows. Aaron died. Spores might be dead for us. Um, Karen now? You could, but I I think we're okay. I have she who knows in graveyard. Still fine.
Well played, my friend. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice. Great. Yes, GG's. Well done, normal life. Okay. Maybe we should play that range throw. We didn't get these two, unfortunately. No, I haven't seen it. Why? Uh, just for something different. Sometimes, you know, they're a bit conditional. Like, for example, you got a one powered unit here at 10. You don't know what you're going to hit. So I've gone with a bit of a different build. But feel free to play whatever you like. Should it be... Could do this, so... It's just the thinning card. It thins out two random bronze Deathwish units to the same row. So yeah, that's how I'm using it here. I'm just using it for consistency in this deck. I haven't been getting that the last two matches. <laughs> I'm not presenting the card very well to you right now. I've missed Taunt twice, man. Rat of it. Really now. It is how I punish those who irritate me. That's one big Karen. The magician rabbit. No horse, I said. Wanted the exercise, I said. They're very they're very confident to play into this round. So many points down. So do they have sensor? I should play this just to be safe now. Why are they so confident? It's a lot of points. Okay, good. We really just want to push now. Go for the 2 if possible. Oh, it's a pretty good hand. Yeah, I love it solid. Hmm. 
Well, it doesn't make things awkward. I'm gonna try to get scenario out of them. Bad positioning. It's pr is it probably better to steal that? Well, steal a kill. Still gives us more points. Yeah, they should have played it ranged. That's all right. All right. Okay, we can consume. <laughs> Joins MO. Yes. The new king of MO, not me anymore. It's King Henselt. <laughs> the hand looks a bit bad, to be honest. If they kill she who knows, we just consume it with Ozreal. <laughs> it's a competition of the king, Surish. Pass now? We're in pretty deep. I'd still go. Thanks for the follow, I really appreciate that. Why did they leave She Who Knows? They could have killed it. Well, they could have damaged it a lot more. Yep. Shoot up. Thanks for the follow, my friend. Appreciate it. I'm an officer and a gentleman. Ah. 
What's the biggest target? A witch's best friend is a pig, no doubt. Nice, happy to hear that, Keep. Well done. It's a pretty good counter, isn't it? Yeah, come on, kill she who knows for me. Hello, 88, how are you? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, come on. Get it. Yes. And just like that, baby. Never doubted it, never doubted it. 